At Blackpool and Fylde College of Further Education, microtechnology is also helping young people to learn. But here, the barrier is not mental, but only physical handicap. Computers and word processors have a lot of advantages for physically handicapped students who can use a standard keyboard. But Laura Whitehead's cerebral palsy means that she can only use the computer by moving her head to operate two switches. Lyndon Thomas began by writing computer programs specially tailored to the individual needs of people like Laura. Mm -hmm. It's um, a bit too slow sometimes. What we found was that if the programs were successful, then the student would outgrow them within a period of perhaps six months, and it might have taken six months to develop the programs, so that they very quickly became obsolete. And this labor-intensive process really wasn't feasible. Um, and so we realized that what we wanted to do was to open up the world of commercially available software for these people. The answer was the Keymaster, a standard computer with a special modification. The keyboard itself is replicated on an extra screen. When Laura presses her head switch, she is selecting the letter from the screen as if it were on the keyboard. The result goes onto the standard display screen. She can use this keyboard emulator for writing, but she can also use standard commercially available programs chosen for their intellectual and educational level. Laura is doing O-level sociology using this system. It's slow, but it enables her to learn in ways not possible before. 